guys, I'm a little bunny today. I just took a shower and a genius idea came to me. Why not to try some kind of a mask? And here I remembered that a couple of months ago, I bought this infamous bubble mask. Let me show you. This is what it looks like. This is a... Uh, I was uh, dyeing my hair and of course it went everywhere. So this clay mask was very popular like five, seven years ago, I believe. I never had an opportunity to try it and really wanted to. Oh, look, I didn't know that I had a spatula in here. I actually have a mask brush that is like 10 years old, I believe, but I still use it, it's fine. I gotta open it. Oh, come on. Oh, dude. Dude! <laughs> okay, it's fine, that's fine. Mm hmm. It smells fine. The consistency is like a slimy yogurt. <laughs> Very aesthetically pleasing. Do you feel comfortable with me being so close to you? Okay, let's apply the mask, you guys. I never use any spatulas. I always use a mask brush, which is much more convenient in my opinion. Also, I want to mention that my skin is quite dry itself. And the on the packaging, it said that the mask is for oily or combination skin. So just a thing to mention. But look how fast it dries. Yeah, I was wrong. The change of color that you see on the screen right now is from actually oxidizing. So the mask started to bubble already and that's just immediate. Look at this. Like I just applied it on my cheek and immediately you can see that it started to oxidize. Oh, it started it, it starts to tickle around my nose. It starts to oxidize so fast. Oh. How much does it say to wait? I don't know. Hold on. After three, five minutes, oh, take proper amount of carbonated clay, clay mask to your whole face except around the eyes. Well, it's okay. After three, five minutes when the bubble's blown up, absolutely. After three, five minutes, I repeat, when the bubble's blown up, absolutely. Do foam massage with a little tepid water and wash away. <laughs> oh, it's tickling around my nose. Oh, and the chin is tickling too. Oh my gosh. <sighs> you know like when you apply uh, clay masks, it's like, it's tight and dry. This is not dry at all. <laughs> oh, oh, my face ID. <laughs> my phone is not recognizing me. My face ID is not working. Oh crap. I went into Instagram. Say hi guys. didn't notice. I get a little bit on my eyelashes. I didn't notice. I look my entire face is like tickling. Oh, I'm sitting right in front of the window. I hope no one can see me from the outside. Like, while we're being very serious, let me teach you. Like this, this position of your hands is helping out to balance the energies of your body. Let's do some meditation. <sighs> Breathe out. A few moments later. Should I say a little bit more? A l for five more minutes. I want to see. I want to see how far it's going to go. Keep going. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. One eternity later. Ah. Oh, God, in my eye. Oh, my hair! I just washed my hair! Oh, come on! Underneath it does feel like the clay mask. It's not dry at all. It's still, like, playable. You can, you can definitely, like, massage your face with it. 
The massage feels so good because it like feels very tickly, you know? Sorry about the lighting, but the sun is right in front of me. I'm still not as professional to have studio lights. Maybe if you subscribe to the channel and I become a little bit more popular, I will be able to buy some professional equipment. Maybe like the video too. So this is what it looks like after the massage and I will go to the bathroom, wash it off I guess, and be right back. Stay, stay here. Eventually. Oh. I'm back you guys. The mask got into my eye and like if you can see like they get red a little bit so. I'm totally sober, I swear. It's just the mask got into my eye. When I was washing out the mask, it started to be really, like, soapy. And at the same time, it's clay, so it was, like, very difficult to wash it off. But at the same time, it was very soapy. So it got into my eyes. And I had to use this kind of sponge. And then also this one. It was, like, uh, this like a silicone. Oh, I just broke it. <laughs> it's like a silicone brush that is, like, very convenient to use. I just broke it a little bit. <laughs> trying to show it to you. <clears throat> this is like a silicone brush with a handle and then I was just washing it off like this. When I was using the mask it wasn't like feeling tight or anything or dry. Now of course yeah it, it does feel like a bit of dry. I will uh, apply some regular uh, cream that I use. My skincare routine is quite simple so I, I don't really use a lot of products so I just apply a little bit of um, facial cream on my face to just moisturize it. Some eye cream. When I apply eye cream, I also, I also try to massage my eyes. It's very important to like massage this part as well, like the nose, and um, it drains the liquids. So I kind of massage the nose and I massage this area so it like unclogs the nose. And then then I will massage through my eyes, like kind of getting inside the eye socket a little bit. And then like... And then I will like drain the the excess liquid in the eyes, so it's like... Uh, helps with the puffiness and stuff. Sometimes you use the roller to kind of like... For, for the cooling effect as well, it moisturize my lips as well. So, first of all, I'm not sure if I ruined it. Like, don't leave it unopened. Don't let it oxidize. I hope this is airtight. Second of all, you don't need to apply that much that I applied. I, I was just making a video, so I applied a lot and I was waiting a lot. On the box itself, it literally says three, five minutes. Three, five minutes, I repeat. So you don't have to wait 15, 20 minutes like I did. I just did that for the video to like see how, how far it's gonna go. Probably you will have to use some kind of sponges and um, brushes to take it off because it wasn't just gliding off. The best option would be probably just go to the shower, wash it off like this with a shower cap. That would have been ideal, I guess, but I already went in the shower, so I kind of didn't want to go there again. The dark under eye circles are still there, but the mask did not claim to remove any dark under eye circles, right? Don't apply close to the eye. When the mask starts bubbling, it like goes on the eyelashes and everything. So you don't want it to go into the eye because it's gonna like irritate it. And it did, especially the, the mask starts bubbling, it's crazy. You cannot really judge a mask from just one experience. Skincare is always something that gives you the results over time. It's very important to use something regularly for a period of time and then see how your skin re uh, reacts to it and what's happening. It feels like a little bit more like blood circulation got to my face. I feel kind of like warm. Whenever you apply clay mask, you kind of can understand the sensation. But it comes from the fact that like the clay kind of like dries on your skin, right? And that like gives you that sensation, like that a, a little bit of like burning sensation when you wash it off because it was like tight once and then you took it off. It does feel like tight now. Well, you guys, one. overall, I really like the mask and I will definitely use it again. I will do everything properly. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed making this video. Hope you enjoyed watching it as well. If you have any ideas for fun stuff like this one, please let me know because I was trying to search for something fun to use and the only mask that I found that was pretty interesting to try was this one. I will go. I will catch you on my next videos. Uh, maybe I will live stream on YouTube as well now. And I will catch you later. Bye.
My camera wants to show booba. Ay, ay, ay. I did not try this mask out because I'm just that kind of person that misses out on everything. Whenever something is trending, I'm like, oh, I'm too good for that, you know? <laughs> and then like five, seven, ten years later, I'm like, oh, that was actually a pretty cool thing. So, I'm too bougie to try out new stuff, but I'm, but I'm fine with using ten-year-old brush. I'm really enjoying this right now because this is also new and I'm like, I bought it specially for the video a couple months ago.